What I am about to talk about is scary. And it's scary for these parents who had to deal with it. But I'm bringing this to you in case you have grandkids, you have children, you pay attention to these symptoms because there is a mass outbreak that is taking place right now in Detroit. They don't know exactly what it is, where it came from. So they don't know if this will happen in another state. I'm gonna read some of this article to you, but I also have footage. So I want to warn you ahead of time in watching this footage. Um, if you're sensitive to children being ill, you might not want to watch this. So public health officials in Detroit are investigating an outbreak of unidentified illnesses at an elementary and middle school after a kindergartner died. The Detroit Public Schools County District said Wednesday that the school, Marcus Gravy or Marcus Garvey Academy, has experienced an unusual high rate of flu-like symptoms, including students' fevers, vomiting, namely at an early grade level. The Detroit Health Department said in a statement on Wednesday that it has not confirmed the cause of illnesses. It told the parents and caregivers to be on the lookout for several symptoms, including fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and lethargy amongst children ages four through seven. The school, however, was shut down for deep cleaning. They're expected to open back up on Monday. A pediatrician at Children's Hospital of Michigan said that continued circulation of respiratory viruses, which tend to peak in the winter, could be driving outbreaks in schools. Detroit is still experiencing winter weather, he noted, which has prompted kids to spend more time indoors this spring. They say that it is not unheard of this time of the season and that they may even experience another wave of any viral respiratory illnesses. He said that his hospital has not seen any patient connected to the Garvey Academy outbreak, but that the school's reported illnesses did not surprise him. When you're confined in an area such as a classroom, of course, that can make one child very contagious to the other child next to them in that classroom. It is hard to know why the source of the outbreak has not been identified yet, but noted that doctors often test less for respiratory viruses during off-peak seasons. So the article is also stating that in a separate incident um, the same week, a Detroit daycare facility temporarily closed on Wednesday for deep cleaning because of an outbreak of hand, foot, and mouth disease. The daycare focus, Hope Center for Children, said it had identified 17 cases as of Tuesday, but the disease is mild and it is unlikely to be related to the outbreak of the Garvey Academy. And hand, foot, and mouth disease spreads easily through droplets from cough, sneezes, or contact with contaminated surfaces or objects. It is common in infant and children young, younger than five years old with symptoms that usually include fever, mouth sores, and skin rash. Let me know what you think about this story down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be and when you are, go out and spread God's love. got a heads up about it on Monday. Three-year-old Donna Jean was admitted to the hospital. Her mom and grandmother say it was just like she wilted and then extremely hot to the, I thought I, it's like taking something out of the oven without having gloves on. She was burning up with fever, which is the first symptom the health department says to be on the lookout for. Saturday, we took her to the hospital. Her lips turned completely blue, like no oxygen. The others, headache, lethargy, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. So far, two schools are affected, Garvey Academy and the Focus Hope Center for Children. 25 children are sick, and one kindergartner at Garvey Academy has died. Tonight, the Detroit School Board had a moment of silence. To support, put their arms around the family, so please remember during this moment of silence, please remember that we are with you. Doctors are running multiple tests to try and figure out what this is. So far, no one is quite sure. And of all of these symptoms, Dr. McGeorge says, parents, there is definitely 
a hierarchy here. The most concerning symptoms to watch out for are high fever, headache, and lethargy. Those would be suggestive of meningitis. The other set of symptoms, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, are more vague. Those would be something that you would probably talk to your doctor about rather than go to an emergency room.